If you don't believe it, it is not going to happen. Be picky with who you allow around you. It's hard to be positive about things that happen in your life. You have to be delusional about things like that. Hey Stinky, so welcome back to my channel. If you guys haven't already read the title, we are talking about how to create your dream life, okay? And I really just wanna get intimate with this topic and I feel like we don't talk about stuff like this a lot on this page. Now we're branching out because there are some things that I truly believe have changed my life and I wanna put you on game, brother. Like I really want you to get touched with consent, of course. So if you feel like you don't like where you're at right now in life and that you are nowhere near to the point where you wanna be and you are extremely dissatisfied, this video is for you. And I really hope that you guys can take something away from from it because I wish I would have listened to some of the tips that I'm about to give you a lot earlier on. I might have had a, a nicer, smoother transition into what I'm currently doing. Topic number one, I want you to ask yourself, what do you want from this world? Really ask yourself what your desires are, the type of life you wanna live, the impact you wanna make on people. You have to remember this isn't the time to dream small. This is the time to dream big. Ask for what you want. Even if you think it's not a reality for you, ask for it because you deserve it. If that is what you want, if that is what's truly going to bring you joy you deserve it and you have to change your mindset on it I can give you the perfect example for this I've known for a couple of years for the past like maybe six years the type of lifestyle that I wanted to live and I knew the impact that I wanted to make on people you know I did a lot of mentoring I did a lot of tutoring I did a lot of coaching growing up and that gave me a spark of life into my chest that I've never felt anything that feels better than that I think for a while especially going throughout college I was like oh like I'm going to be a physical therapist in the army and, and this, this and that and blah, 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 blah. When I got down into my senior year of college, I was like, damn, like I don't wanna fucking do that. Like that's, I'm just not gonna lie. It's, it's just not for me, it's not for me. And that was a really hard pill for me to swallow because it was in that senior year where you have everyone telling me, oh, I'm going to grad school this and I'm going to grad school that and I'm doing this after college and what are you doing after college? And me not really being able to answer that question because I didn't wanna be stuck doing something for the rest of my life that I wasn't truly passionate about and I didn't think that was gonna be it. And for me, that was a scary pill to swallow because everybody wants to know what they wanna do. No one wants to not have a single clue of where they wanna go. But I'm telling you from here, from my heart to yours, all you need is a thought, it is an idea, okay? A desire, visualize it, see it, feel it. That is what's going to drive you into the next step. And I wanna tell you exactly what I want from this world so that maybe you guys can get a little bit of inspo for yourself. So I knew that I wanted to be in the social media space and I knew that I wanted wanted financial freedom and not because that I'll, I'll be able to buy whatever I want like yeah that's awesome all but because I will be able to financially support my entire family and that security is something that I've always craved and wanted you know I want to freaking travel all over the world for however long I want to I want to be immersed by everyone's cultures I want to live in a high-rise and have a beautiful family and some of you guys out there like you're listening to this and you might be like oh like it's just like not reality like you're asking for a lot and that's the point. It is better to shoot for the stars and land on the moon, as they might say, than to fucking shoot for the goddamn Macy's building and, and end up landing on the Macy's building. No one wants that. Okay, so once you identify what you want, the next thing you need to do is will it into reality. You have to believe it so hard, like you've never believed anything else in this world. And even before I understood what manifestation was and visualization and the importance of the law of attraction and abundance and stuff like that. Stop making it seem like this crazy thing that would just never happen to you because you're not special, you are special. And you have to keep telling yourself that you're special and you have to keep telling yourself that this reality that you want is, is in, in, in reach. You keep reaching for it and keep driving for it because if not, you're not going to see the results that you wanna see from this. Changing your life isn't just about the physical things that you have to do, but it's also about believing you can make your dreams come true. That's the first step. You won't believe how important your mind is into this. And I'm gonna give you guys a little bit of an example. I completely changed my career path in college. I was just like, I'm moving to Florida for the vibes, okay? And I didn't have a plan on how to move to Florida. I didn't have any money to move to Florida. I didn't know how the f I was gonna get there. I didn't have an apartment, I didn't have anything. But anytime somebody asked me what I was doing after college, I was like, oh yeah, like I'm moving to Florida. And I said that over and over and over again. And look where the f I'm at right now. Two months after graduating college, I moved to Florida and I made it happen because I truly believed that I was going to move there. Another example of this, I got a luxury gym membership that I couldn't 
fucking afford, bro. And I remember this this older man, he came up to me and he was like, oh yeah, like what do you do for work? Mind you, mind you, let me keep it a buck. I currently had worked at uh, Olive Garden. I told the man that I was an influencer and it was scary because I felt a little bit of imposter syndrome a little bit because at that point I didn't really have any followers. But I knew that that was what I wanted to do and I knew that that's why I was here and I wanted to be able to say that title. And the scariest part was telling someone that that was what I did when a little part of me felt like that's not what I did and that's not who I should be identifying with. You need to identify with your higher self. You have to embrace who you are in every aspect. You have to believe it because if you don't believe it, it is not going to happen and you're gonna be sitting there and saying, what was me? Why is this happening to me? And it's because you didn't truly believe that that was your reality. The next thing that you wanna do is take action. And I know that you're probably thinking like, why would I take action before planning? And I'm telling you that this is not one of the things that you write down a plan and you're like, I need to get to this point before I start this point and do this, this, and that, and blah, 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 blah. Sometimes there are things in life that you just have to go head first in and creating the life that you wanna live is one of them. You are going to get caught up waiting till the right moment and the right moment will never come you will never feel prepared and you will never be able to plan out this dream because there are gonna be so many things that happen throughout life that you can't plan for there are gonna be feelings and emotions the unknown is scary you don't know what's coming next and that can be a very very uncomfortable feeling for people but I promise you a majority of the people you see that are extremely successful out there have gone in head first and they have never looked back you're gonna make mistakes on the way and the beautiful thing about making mistakes is that even when you're feeling in positive Imposter syndrome, change your mindset around that. You are not an imposter, you are a beginner. Of course you don't know what you're doing. Of course you're not sure which step to take next. This is a learning experience for you and that can be overwhelming, but so worth it, I promise, so worth it. If you truly want to create the life that you wanna live, you have to stop thinking and just go for it. The longer you wait, the easier it's going to be to talk yourself out of it. And you don't wanna do that, okay? We interrupt this program for an important news announcement. If you feel like something is interfering with your happiness or preventing you from achieving your goals regardless if you have a clinical or mental health issue like anxiety or depression or if you're just human who lived in this world and is just going through a tough time therapy can give you those tools to approach life in a different point of view and that is one of the reasons why I'm so excited to announce today's sponsor let's give a shout out to BetterHelp so BetterHelp's mission is to make therapy more affordable and more accessible and this is an important mission for them because finding a therapist can be really hard okay finding that one that you click with it can be an issue especially when you don't have as much access to them and so BetterHelp is a platform to make finding a therapist easier online so the cool thing about it is that the therapy it is remote and by filling out a few questions BetterHelp can help you find a professional therapist in as little as a few days it is super easy to sign up and get matched with a therapist I went ahead and put their link in my description box now clicking that link helps support this channel but it also gives you a 10% discount discount off your first month at BetterHelp. And that's great because again, like we wanna get connected with a therapist that not only matches who we are as individuals, but can help us solve the problems that we might not know how to. And I think, you know, the big stigma is that I don't need therapy, I don't need help, I don't need that. But listen, you don't know everything and it's okay to not know everything. It's okay to be a beginner, it's okay to be novice and it's okay to ask for help. And because finding a therapist is a little bit like dating, if you don't really fit with that therapist, which is a common thing in therapy, you can easily switch to a new therapist with no additional costs. You don't need to stress about insurance, who's in your network, or anything else like that. So if you're struggling, okay guys, just get help. I promise you, you're going to feel so much better being equipped with the tools that you need to to be successful in this space. You might want to consider doing some online therapy with BetterHelp. Again, I'm going to link them in my description box below. I do want to give a huge thank you again to BetterHelp for help supporting this channel. We have all been caught in the trap of talking down on ourselves. Words are so and powerful, you can program your brain to think whatever. And if you were constantly programming your brain to think that you are ugly and you're not smart or you're not funny or you're not this, this and that, your brain, you are going to think that. That is your reality. You create your reality based off of the thoughts that you have on yourself. Anytime I have a negative thought in my head, I do this thing called mind swiping. I think of it like Tinder. You know, you're scrolling through Tinder, you see all the Tinder people on there who are doing their thing. And uh, when you like someone, you swipe left 
left and when you don't like someone you swipe right I'm, I'm pretty sure it could be reversed I'm not sure I think of my negative thoughts like tinder and so as soon as a negative thought about myself or even about others come up I just swipe swipe the thought away I literally physically say swipe inside my brain and the thought goes away because I don't want to encourage those thoughts to multiply inside of my head it's just neg it's just low vibrational babe it's just it's just low energy okay and we don't want that I know like during this process it's gonna be a lot of self-doubt too and something that kind of helps with my self-doubt is affirmations sometimes when I'm feeling down about myself or I'm just like maybe this isn't meant for me I'll just give myself a couple of affirmations in the morning and I say them throughout the day sometimes to reassure myself and because I need it there is a lot of mystery in going for what you want and with mystery comes a lot of self-doubt and sometimes you need those affirmations to reaffirm what you already know so this next topic is like my favorite and we want to look at your friends and your environment energy is everything personally like when I was back in Virginia like I felt like I was just really negative and I hated being there I felt like the people around me were doing the same shit and I felt trapped and that's why I wanted to move to Florida so bad and so when I finally got here I was like oh my god minus the fact that I was dirt broke and living paycheck to paycheck we're gonna ignore that I was just happy to be out of that low vibrational ass energy because when I moved down here and I realized I'm like damn people down here really want more for themselves and unfortunately it's like a lot of like one-upping each other but like that one up and created tension and competition and drive and ambition and that is the type of energy that I needed to be around I want you guys to take a moment and to look at the people that are around you to look at the places where you live how do you feel if you're always feeling super neggy you know you're feeling depressed and you're not liking who you are okay well then look at what's around you and I'm not just talking about your friends I'm talking about your family too they can be holding you back I'm not saying that you know they mean to hold you back or anyone's doing it with malice but they can and unfortunately it is up to you to get yourself out of that situation so I want you to look at your friends what are they doing are they doing the type of shit that you want to do are they doing something that's gonna make them successful are they going out and, and drinking and smoking and partying every weekend because if you are in something that is so intoxicating and so low vibrational you might not even realize that it's holding you back and as soon as you leave that environment you can literally be changing your entire life you need to be picky with who you allow around you okay who you allow around your energy because you could have this amazing high vibrational energy and you find that it attracts so many people and you're like oh my god like everybody loves me everybody likes me everybody this is that and that's because they feel your energy it is intoxicating it is like a drug and they will suck it away from you there are gonna be people who are gonna be hating on you they're gonna be hating on you they are not gonna believe you can do it and that is because they don't believe they can do it and they are projecting So make sure that you get away from those people I want you guys to be very present throughout this journey you need to recognize that things are are not happening to you but they are happening for you and that nothing in this world is a coincidence everything has a lesson to be learned from once you start shifting your perception into that like I promise this transition into creating the life that you want to live is gonna be a lot easier I'll give you guys another little I keep giving you guys examples but it's just because like this really means a lot to me and I want to relate this back to my life so that you guys can see how I'm implementing this myself so I locked my keys in my car two times uh, in a row within the same week and I was pissed I was just like, why do I keep locking my keys in my car? Why the freak do I have to pay $130 to get the keys out of my car? And I literally had to stop myself mid thought because I was just like, I locked my keys in my car. Why did I lock my keys in my car? Because I was moving too fast. God is telling me that I need to slow down. And instead of being pissed off about the situation, I took my lesson from it. I got fired from my in-person job. And at first I was like, I'm not ready to start my own business. I'm not ready to do this. Like, why did I have to get fired? Like, I only needed a couple more weeks, but again, had to stop myself mid thought and be like this is something that I need to go through in order to get to the next level and he was right you know if I hadn't gotten fired I wouldn't be here today speaking to you guys sometimes it is hard to be positive about things that happen in your life that are negative but you have to do that you have to be delusional about things like that I, mean, I don't think it's delusional but others might think it's delusional you have to go through these things for a reason and you need to be present in each one of those steps if you're not you're not gonna get the lesson that you need to learn from it you're not gonna to continue to grow with an individual finally don't compare your path to other people's path and I'm so guilty of this it does not matter how old you are it does not matter how young you are you have a path and it's already been set in stone for you okay your time will come I feel like people get into this space where they forget just how much volume it takes to be successful you are going to fail okay you're going to fail but understand that each failure that you have brings you closer and closer
closer to the reality and the life that you want to live. Remember that, okay? Embrace the failure. Some people are going to have what looks to be an easy path to the life that they want to live. And some people, it is going to take them years and years and years to get there. You have to think about, you know, like Samuel L. Jackson, like he didn't get freaking huge and famous until he was, I don't know, like in his 50s or something. Same with like Vera Wang, like she didn't start designing until she was in her 40s and, and all these other super famous people who have created the life that they want to live, but they didn't get there until later in life and that's because their path is different than ours. There are some people who are gonna can hit that shit on the money early on and there are some people who are gonna have to go through a little bit more stuff but you have to trust your process you have to trust yourself and you have to keep pushing through I promise you that if you really want it and you do everything that in your power to get there you will get there this is from me to you I truly believe that for you all right I know that was a lot I didn't mean to get like motivational speaker on you but you know I want all of you guys to to believe in yourself to believe that you are worthy and deserving of the life that you want for so long I used to not believe that I was worthy or deserving of that life and as soon as I made that mindset shift and I started putting in action towards the things that I really wanted in this world is when you know I've been blessed with so many things and I want that for you guys but yeah so that is it for this week's video I know it was like more of like a chit chat thing so I don't know I hope you guys were able to take something away from this and if you didn't like it your mom told her to pucker up okay because I'm going deep in her throat okay with my tongue it's not gonna be pleasant for anyone, including myself. If you haven't already, please like and subscribe, support the channel. Our cult is growing. I'm so, so grateful, and I'm so excited to see where we can take this within the next year. So yeah, if you guys wanna get real intimate with me, just make sure to do it.